What's going on? We're here with a package that was sent to us from Panorama Cycles. What we have here is the Katahdin. I think that's how you say it. So yeah, what we're gonna do real quick is just unbox it, see what color we got. And then what I'm gonna do is put it together using the Eagle Access drive chain. I'm gonna take it off one of my other bikes and I'm gonna put it on this bike. Dude, they got the stem and the bars installed. Look at this thing. This is a matte green carbon frame and it already looks they even put the bottom bracket in come on all right i'm gonna keep unboxing it hang on just mounting points everywhere <laughs> we got mounting points on the bottom and access to inside if you need it. Some fender mounts in the back. Mounting points on top if you wanna hook up a little bento box. We got one, two, three, four. So two bottles I think can go right here. We got some on the down tube right there, or the seat tube. These handlebars are swept back just a little bit and they have this nice flat palm resting area and that's gonna be so comfortable when you're um, riding with your hands on the tops just like this. Kind of what it looks like so far. Gotta wrap the bars. I've gotta re bleed the front brake here. But everything's shifting. Wheels and tires are on. Look at that frame color, dude. That is so, I mean, just absolutely clean. Panorama. All right, dude. Built up. This thing has been mountain bike tested to go off road. I mean, this bike is made to get in the dirt and to do it packed down, loaded up with whatever you want. So it makes sense that this bike is a little bit more robust and it's got a more slacked out head tube or top tube rather. And um, so what I'm gonna do is just kind of lower that a little bit, put the bar tape on, and then we're gonna have ourselves an absolutely ripping gravel bike. Now, if you're wondering about the standover height on this bike, I'm 5'9", with a 31 and a half inch inseam. And where I stand right here, I've got about an inch between, you know, the top tube and where it, it hits my body. Good. Torque this down. Six Newton meters. Now all we have to do is wrap these bars. In. Not the best, but not bad. I'm happy with that. Sir, gripped up. It's ready to go. All right, so now that we've got it fully built up, I cannot wait to rip on this thing. Let's get it on the scale. Here is the weigh-in with pedals, heavy ones at that. No um, cages yet, but we'll get some on. We are looking at 9.135 kilos. 20 pounds basically on the nose. Fully built up. Let's go ride. All right, here on the Katahdin. Doing a growl hole road ride. Feels real stable. Going 30 miles an hour. Woo, yeah. Oh. <laughs> 
pretty rough conditions here. Yeah. But perfect. Time for some single track. Let's get it. This is where this bike feels alive. It's longer, more raked out, and real comfy. Oh shit. Oh dude. Yeah. I mean, come on. This feels so smooth. I mean, come on, this feels so smooth. First thought is it feels comfortable. It feels flowy in the steering. Like it's not um, twitchy. And it feels very planted and like flowy. Kind of lends itself to the uh, geometry, you know, longer reach, shorter stem, mountain bike stuff, or modern geometry, I should, should, should say. So that's great. Okay, I'm gonna wrap up the Panorama uh, Katahdin bicycle here and give you my thoughts after owning it for a very short time. And I, I definitely underused this bike because I wish I could have gone on like a proper, you know, light bike packing trip because this is where I think this bike would excel the most. Um, but some call outs that I wanna just touch on um, that I didn't really talk about in this video are the tire clearance because this bike can take up to a 700C by 48 millimeter tire. And that's, that's a big old fat tire. Or you can skip that and go 650B. Hang on just a second, I'm filming something, okay? Or you can skip that and go 650B and put a 2.1 inch tire on there. Now that's mountain bike territory if you ask me. Um, but I had a lot of fun on this bike. Uh, I got a size medium and I'm about 5'8", five, 5'9", five, with a 31 and a half inch inseam. And I did feel that these reach numbers were a little bit long for me. Having said that, if I were to reorder this bike, I probably would go uh, down a size just because I like a smaller feeling bike. But those are my dimensions and um, the medium felt good. I could have gotten away with a little bit of a shorter stem and I think that would have been just fine actually. But all in all, this bike feels definitely like a proper gravel adventure bike in that you can pack it way down. And in fact, if you go to um, Panorama's website and their Instagram feed, you'll see how much you know people can pack this bike down for those uh, bike packing trips, which this would have been so fun to have taken that on. Um, so maybe I'll try to do that again in the future. Now, just looking at the website, I can see that they've updated some things quite a bit in their complete buildouts. You can get them now with, you know, uh, Arrival GX Axis 10 to 52. That's the way that I built it up, and you can also get it with an Explore Axis group set, which is awesome. So check that out for sure. Um, I guess that's pretty much it. This thing is a proper gravel bike through and through. You know, tire clearance or clearance for big old fatty tires, um, long reach, shorter stem you know, stable, uh, longer chain stay links, all that stuff. And then just mounting uh, points all over the bike. So you can definitely take this thing on a really long adventure. That's really cool. I like, I like this uh, style of bike. Anyway, if you have any questions, just leave them down in the questions or comments below. And uh, I hope you, <laughs> and uh, I'll catch you guys in the next video. See ya.
Thank you.